Trust the local knowledge of the Local 3 Storm Alert Team. We're all getting excited for the 4th of July coming up in just a few days. We're going to help you with some fun celebrations to last more than just the day of the 4th. We're so happy to, this morning to have folks from College Jail here getting ready for the College Jail Freedom Festival. This is City, Ma City Manager Wayne Hines and Samantha Wright, who is with the Friends of the Festival. So good to see you all both. Good morning. Nice to see you. I love that you put democracy into action, mm -hmm. as you should on the 4th of July. Y'all do a poll, mm -hmm. Wayne, and people said they did not want the celebration this year on the 4th of July. Correct. So they you're doing it third, when? On Wednesday the 3rd. And why was that? That was so they could rest in on the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was deserving of a, of a mention on TV. They've got big plans to be poolside yeah. on the 4th of July. <laughs> Y'all have been known for a long time, though, Samantha, for doing it up big with yeah. this festival. And it's not just an evening thing. It begins earlier in the day. Yes, we'll start at 4 p.m. sharp. Um, and that will start with all the children's games. There will be over 20 food trucks there, uh, so you can get food for the entire family. And then there also will be a fireworks show at the end. And College Dell's actually been celebrating Independence since 1969 with the type of celebration or festival so it's a nice tradition to continue on. Has the fireworks been part of that ever since 1969 or is that new because y'all are kind of known for your fireworks? The fireworks programs I know were running in the 90s and then have grown significantly over the last decade and a half, two decades. As has College Dale. Yeah. I mean what a job you must have as the city manager. There's growth coming in there all the time. Yes. yes. And yet people I think can sometimes get a little bit confused between College Dale mm -hmm. and Ottawa. Yes. And you go into College Dale, and we're, I'm guessing you're going to do this at the Commons, mm -hmm. it still feels very down home Americana. That's the goal. The goal is to, to keep that down home feel, uh, keep our identity as, as a smaller community. So when people come out, um, I'm sure it's been a, quite a number of y'all on the committee mm -hmm. uh, getting everything ready. The food trucks, are they all from our local area or are they coming in from? Uh, um, yes, the majority of them are from a local area. We have a couple regional ones that are from up north in Cleveland and mm -hmm. Appison, uh, but you'll see some of the fan favorites here like Freaky Funnels and Ablita Season, so it should be a good night. And plenty of ways to stay cool as you wait Absolutely. for the sun to go down. Yes, yes um, at the children's area there'll be slip and slides and all the waterworks and the bounce houses so their children can have fun while the family celebrates. I'm guessing you encourage people to bring either blankets or even lawn chairs. Yes, blankets yes. and lawn chairs, uh, no tents or canopies. Uh, coolers are also allowed. Okay. Yes. Talk about the music. You can't have a fireworks show and not have good music to yes. accompany it. So starting at 530, we'll have the Appalachian String Band kick on, followed by the Amber Carrington Band, and then the East Tennessee Symphony Orchestra will round out the evening. Is parking an issue? There are several uh, areas designated for parking that are managed by local uh, nonprofit groups, mm -hmm. and uh, that's all visible on Facebook page, okay. on various areas to park. Uh, parking is typically charged for, but the event is free. Uh, does it continue to just astound you how much growth is coming to College Jail? I mean, you must get uh, to work every week and see applications for new businesses coming that you've never even heard of yes. before. Yes, yes. The, the growth I is starting to even ramp up more, mm -hmm. um, but it, it has been for years and years lots and lots of growth. There's a stretch of Little Debbie Parkway out there between Walmart uh, and then I guess Appleson Pike. Mm -hmm. And it used to be that you could just drive through that section and it was just nothing but mm -hmm. land on either side of you. And now every week when you drive by there, there seems to be new businesses that mm -hmm. have popped up. What do you think it is? Is it an easy place to come? and feel like you're part of the community right away? It is, it, it's a very comfortable community, it's a very safe community. Uh, our outdoor amenities, our greenways and parks uh, are outstanding. The Little Debbie Park has been a, a just smash hit. So a lot of people find themselves attracted to College Dale for those types of amenities. I love that you grew up on Signal Mountain yeah. uh, and you, here you are helping with the friends at the festival out there in College Dale. How many people are on the committee to get this thing ready? Uh, for Friends of the Festival, we have about three people, and then of course we have the entire team uh, for S City of College Dale. So do you pretty much begin like when this all over on July 3rd, you'll rest on the 4th and you'll begin next year's planning right yep. away? Yeah, we begin to have meetings in the fall, and then I start taking vendor applications in January. And so we have pretty much everything kind of set in place before even May begins. So with the vendor uh, applications, is it just the food trucks, or while you're waiting, is there like some shopping to do too, or is it just uh, the We don't have too many 
support vendors, but we do have some local churches that participate, you uh -huh. know, pass out information and just try yeah. to be a part of the community on that day. Is there any one particular part of the day that you're most looking forward to? Oh, uh, the fireworks for sure. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful firework display and they shoot off right behind Veterans Park. Yes. Um, yeah, and it's 20, 25 minutes long. It's awesome. Is that local or do you bring people in to do that? I and mean, that's a skill. We bring folks in. Yeah. A nationally yeah. recognized fireworks team comes in for us. Well, um, get there early. It begins at 4. Uh, obviously, they won't do the fireworks until the sun goes down. Yeah, it's about 9.30. So bring some sunscreen yeah. if you're going to be there because you can't have a tent, but your kids can have fun on the slip and slide, and they'll keep you cooled off with, I'm sure, some ice cream and that kind of thing oh, yeah. at the food trucks. And celebrate the country's uh, birthday on the 3rd of July. Then you can celebrate again on the 4th. Thank you both so much. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Are your clothes taking two or more cycles to dry? New dryer